This graph shows a normal distribution or a bell curve of scores for a test from zero to 100. However, there are two kind of interesting trends in this data. The most obvious is an uptick in the amount of scores at the 30 range, but there's also a little bit of an uptick here at the 100 range or perfect score. The test data should follow this normal distribution or bell curve where a large amount of the scores are near the average, while towards the extremes, there are few scores. And for the most part, it does look like this. You can see the bell curve going up and down. However, what happened here was the passing score of this test was a 30. So the teacher or the person grading this test probably introduced a little bit of bias in the data by passing some students that may have been close to failing, which pushed more students to the right here of 30. The other interesting part here is at the 100, you can see this uptick where a few more students than predicted scored 100, scored a perfect. And again, that could be an introduction of bias because the grader wanted more 100 scores or just was like, okay, they got 100 and just gave them that 100. Now, I don't know how true this data set is. However, it's a great image to use to show students and talk about how biases can influence data.